Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now that I know that you guys can hear me, let's uh, enjoy a beautiful game, shall we? Let me know if my voice is too loud in the comments. I always check my comments, by the way, so... Yeah. I will be trying to stay quiet for a lot of this game, just because I really want the artistic just nature of this game to come through. And I think the game speaks well for itself as well, but couldn't play, do a good game playthrough if you guys couldn't uh, hear my voice anyway. So pretty. That's what makes me happy. This game's just so pretty. And that's why I love it so much. Is because of how beautiful all the scenes are. Even the bleakest scenes like this. Um... This entire area that I'm walking through right now, for those of you who haven't played this before, is a graveyard. The tombstones of the people. Can you hear? Yep. And these rugs, I always like to assume, are just sort of like fragments of spirits. Now, that little white energy thing, I'm going to be looking for quite a bit because that um, increases the amount of jump power that I have. So, I will be in the lookout for that. Don't do you worry about that. But luckily, um, these rugs right here, the flying carpet spirits, will increase my jump. And not only that, but if I sing to them, sometimes, yeah, they'll lift me up as well. Like I said, they'll lift me up quite a bit. Um, hey, welcome to my channel. I hope you're enjoying yourself. And please, post in the comments if you know anything about this game that I might be missing. Or if you have any questions about it at all. And also, let me know if my audio is too loud. Because I'm still kind of trying to get things set up. I'm going to say audio my voice. But um, I'm going to try to stay mostly quiet for this game just because this game is one of my favorite games in, ter in terms of just beauty. This game is so beautiful pretty. And I just love it for that. Now, what that image was depicting was the fact that the area that I'm in is a graveyard right now. I always like to imagine this game kind of a post-apocalyptic thing, like all the people just died, and kind of as a sacred mission, this particular individual, our dear red friend that we're playing as, is probably going around to just sort of free this, the lost spirits of his people and learn about what really happened to them, what happened to his culture, his civilization, as he walks through this aimless and desolate world. I love how beautiful this game is. Oh, 
crud. Okay. If you haven't played this game before, um, I have a limited amount of jump power. So every time that I run out, like right now, you'll see my rug thing hanging off the back glow. But luckily, I have carpet friends like this, like these guys, who if I find the magical way to unlock them, will give me more jump power. Or the loose ones over there. Sweet. Okay. Because I need to go for that white glowing thing back there to increase the length of my rug, which also gives me more ability to jump as well. There we go, now I'm charged. Which means we can go back over here and get more jump. And you know, whenever I play this game, I always try to put myself just sort of like in the shoes of this particular individual. Because if you can just only imagine what he must feel like finding his civilization, his people so decimated, so destroyed, so lost. The only survivor of a probably civilization of who knows billions of people. Wandering through the ancient desolate ruins. Probably searching either for survivors or just for the lost spirits or whatever it is. I don't know if I have enough jet power. Oh, I do. Sweet. Probably some ancient, like, guardian or something like that. Probably like the source of life for his people. I imagine that they must have had some kind of great power that was there for them. And I'm gonna go ahead right away because there's certain things back here that I missed that I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna blatantly forget. I just like to do the ending first. Down here to get a secret. Well, not a secret, just to get more energy for my jumpy jump powers. <laughs> jumpy jump powers. 
That's a laugh. Hey, I have a friend up ahead, sweet. Multiplayer. I love multiplayer, especially with this game. I love how it does like the tuck and roll, like, yeah, like a ninja, dodging forward. Well, I had a friend for a second anyway, I don't know where my friend went. This is, that's also the kind of the cool thing, because you're not necessarily the only survivor, because there's other people that can join the game kind of randomly. It randomly will select just the one who's close enough to where you are and put them into the game, which is awesome, because then you end up with a friend. And you never know who's playing with you.
What a beautiful game this really is. That's one thing that's nice about the floor here, is that the, the sandy floor lets me slide around. And I guess this guy's just really good at sand skating. Which is nice. And we're lucky that these uh, bridges we increase my jumping capability. Well, I guess I should say recharge the magic in my rug. This guy's sort of like a flying carpet because he has a magical just sort of carpet thing attached to him. Or cloth thing, I guess I should say, attached to him that makes him able to jump. I'm assuming that red line is just sort of like a source of power for them. But I don't really know.
More carpet for me, sweet. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end off right here, so 